Hi guys, for, for, for now, or for today, I want to show you uh, how to use and a, make an overview how to use the power page and dataverse. One solution, uh, model driven inside power page and generate uh, the, the page or the list and the crude operations around it. So in this video, we will see that, okay? So imagine you have your solution or your developer environment created, right? This is the demo Martin's environment. And after that, I create, for example, to propose of this test, I have two entities, the encomenda and product. So these two entities are custom, right? So after I, I put it, this in a single solution, right? So if I go here, I can show you my solution. I create one, call it manage solution. In the manage, I have the, the app, uh, manage the, the, the manage. And after that, I have some page in my data percent to one, right? So now, apart this, I want, I have one table here, right? The table uh, in command or, uh, or more important, uh, a custom table, right? Uh, and so it's easy. Now, I will go. The first thing you must do is create a, a, a portal, right? Create your your portal, and after that you must edit it, right? If it is your first uh, first time you receive it, try your new building experience with our page or maintains in the old in the oldest. So for now, we'll try power page, the new environment. And this is the new power page environment, right? So for now, you have the a new, a new interface for the, the, all the page in your, in your website, right? This is all the page you have, uh, I have. This is the styling. If I want to change or apply on styling, it's so easy then pick up the style, the template, and you'll apply it to all the, the styles. So I maintain this, or for example, that one. That's it. Let's maintain this. So this will be our, our style to use. It. After that, Discard, I don't want to say it, say anything. So after that, you see here, I put a table inside my site, right? But I have other tables. That table comes from Dataverse. How to put it in your, in your solution in the data page, right? The first thing you must do is create, for example, a page. Right, you create a page and I will put now the product page. Right, so I will put the product page. First, you must choose your, your template, right? If it's a page, you can choose it, right? And create uh, uh, your custom layouts if you want. But I will use the standard layout. After that, you pick page. Right, I pick a page. So now uh, you must create a head. And as you, as I mentioned, this is to you, to your layout, right? And now I will remove it, these sections because I don't want. Let's come here. I don't like this, so I want other. Let's use another. Let's create. This this from start from blank, for example, to you know exactly the difference between, right? Let's add this start from blank, right? In this, you have 
a blank template or a blank uh, page. And they have some things like text, buttons, image, a video, forms, or multi-step form, or list. In the list, you can add your list. For example, I have used product. Right? This is my table product. So this is my table product from Dataverse. You can select it your your view, your list view, and call it as I have here is active products. You can set up actions, for example, put create. You must select the form from from the the, the creation, right? It says, hey, I don't have any any forms to create. Did it? I have any tool? Is it record? I have any. So this I will show you how to do it. Okay, because you can do it, but you can. For example, apply the search, right? And that's it. So now I will remove this, guys. And we only have the list and the search in the list, right? So the number of records by page is 10. For now, we, we will assume that. So after that, the site will generate the list and the search. You see it, and you must sync your operations. If you, if you want, you can preview the desktop, and you see, for example, products here. You don't have permissions to view these records because you are, you must sign in to have that permission. So now I will sign in. Okay, and now let's return. And again, you you must add, uh, put that user with permissions to see it, the product and so on, right? But at the end, it can go directly to your dataverse and show you. But like I said, you don't have the right permission to access to this, uh, to this, to this information, right? So now I will go here, see out. Another, you must, if you use external, sign in. So now, yes, important thing, imagine, you want, for example, uh, like I show you, these two, as you you can see it now, product here, but it is totally stable, right? Imagine you want to put the account table in your site. Let's try it. If I, for example, go a page. A new page and create for example account page and now the account page I say I will say for example I want a list of accounts right let's see what happens my account is Set permissions on this list can be used by your site visit visitors. Right? After that, you can apply the permissions you want to this. So you go here and create permissions to your access accounts. And for example, write, append, create, read. And gives access, for example, self access. Right? Shell permissions, we don't have, but I give the access to that. And now, yes. What I am doing is, for example, 
give permissions to someone with some similar rules have access to that entity, right? To the dataverse and to the site, right? For example, for the others, you can manage the permissions, for example, in setup. You go here, setup, table permissions, and you can see it, all the permissions we have. For example, imagine I can edit this access type is, for example, self access, kill permissions I don't have, so add rules if I want. For example, authenticate users, right? And only authenticate users can see it, this. So now I save it. I go to products. And do the same thing. So I put self access, have some things, apply, for example, this. I will apply only to proposits of demo to anonymous users. Okay. What happens? The data display in your site can be seen by anyone. It's that's not what you want or make an answer rule in table. Show. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's see it. So now you make sync again, preview, go to desktop preview. And again, you go to your site. The account, you must have the. the you see it? This is the errors we, we put it. And in this, you don't have permissions to build the records. Let's sign in. Okay, this is from Azure ID. So it's okay. Let's go. Let's see it. And for now, we don't have, so now we must configure it a little bit more. So, guys, uh, so now, if you see it, encomendas, products, and accounts, I can see it. In this case, I don't have registers here, uh, not, uh, not so, but here I have one register, right? So, what we must do? The first thing you must do is, for example, imagine I create a user. I will, for example, see out. Okay. If I have see out, I can access. Right. So, my user see in, for example, Azure ID, Azure ID. I use a user. This user, for example, I created. So this is my user, must be, my user must be, uh, I must set up my, this user as the uh, authenticate, authenticate user. So what I must do is go to contacts, for example, for the site, find the users in the site and apply it, a, a rule to it. Okay, for example, in this case, I activate the user, right? I assign some permissions, right? And after that, in the web rules, I, I put the user in that web rules authenticator. In the table permissions, what I did, I, I go only to, to you to see my power page. Uh, power page new design in the encomendas in the table permissions encomendas I put it the rule authenticate I put it to global access global access global access and I apply it the users with the authentication rule can access this okay so it's always a 10 
if you go here, dig out, and someone try to see vendors, products, account, don't see anything because you don't give them the, 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 the permissions to have that access, right? So now you must authenticate it and the user authenticate can see it. Right, guys? So this is the first approach to your uh, how to do it, how to manage permissions, dataverse tables in your Power Page, create your lists in Power Page. The next video, we will see it, how to uh, create a form, apply a form, create, edit, delete, and so on, the other actions. Bye-bye, so, subscribe, and see you soon.